What's up Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Welcome Home video. This is the third video in my mini-series or whatever and it's probably gonna be the last in like a while. I, I don't I don't really know what what's going on with this series on this channel but I know for a fact this is gonna be the last time we go through like the website and, and the small kind of secrets um, like reacting to the small kind of secrets and images and stuff. Um, so this might be a little bit of a shorter one because I don't think I have much else to go through really. Um, but if you enjoy this type of content, obviously I can, I can react to other people's theories. I can look on the Reddit or something. Maybe I might do that today. I don't know. Um, but you know, there's other things that we can do as well, um, that I would like to make videos on. So let me know in the comments down below what sort of videos you want to, you, you want to see from me. Uh, I'll probably do theories, but, um... I'll have to think them up, of course, and script them and stuff. Anyway, so yes, we're going to be going through the website again one final time. And I actually want to start at clownillustration.com. Now, Welcome Home, the website, Welcome Home, the ARG Welcome Home, is in like a subsection of this website. So this is like the main website, and then Welcome Home is like a sub website in that. It's, it's kind of like Reddit and subreddit in a way. Not really, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is like Clown's main page. So Clown is the creator and he has amazing art of everything he does. This is a really, really cool puppet. Um, we have a full image here. Goodbye! <laughs> wow, starting off strong. So goodbye is actually what Wally says to you when you're in the neighborhood and you're in his thing. Like everybody else is say, says go back. And Wally says goodbye, and and it's in black text as as opposed to colourful text like the others. So that's interesting that it says goodbye right there. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard someone say that um, a lot of things on the website are not deemed canon, at least yet. I, I, like, I don't know what's going on with that. I feel like he made loads of artwork for this before he started working on an actual ARG for it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so it says goodbye there. That's interesting. I love the suitcase uh, and I love Wally. The, the Wally puppet looks great, I think. Um, I'm excited to see that if it's if it's used in the future. Uh, obviously, as well, this isn't the extent of the ARG. This is just kind of like a prologue. Uh, unfortunately, Clown has taken a break, I think, from working on this because he's, you know, he's gotten famous from this, basically. he He's had a lot of people kind of, I think, harass him. I, I'm not too sure. Um, but I, I would like to look more into that um, because it's it's upsetting, honestly, that, that he works so hard on this project and people are like, are annoyed, annoying. Um, so yeah, um, but hopefully it goes further and of course it will go a lot further um, if it does. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, I don't know who that is. I think that's a, that's a Muppets character, is it? Gonzo, yeah, it's Gonzo. Cool. Looks nice. Very nice. Great art. Is that Miss Piggy? Miss Piggy as Constance Hatchaway. I don't know who that is. Is that an axe? There is something in the middle. Okay. Very nice. And then very cool. I, I really do love all this art. This is amazing. That's so, that's so well done. Oh, it's great. Doing the pigeon. You're a hairdo, Valentine. I've seen we've seen some of these before. Of course, they were they were like art from before, as we said. Um, and I found out that like the news tab on the actual website is actual news. I I thought it was like placed there for, as like ARG stuff, but no, it is actual news, just kind of disguised as news in universe, um, which is really cool. Like so, like when Valentine's Day came around, uh, he actually updated the website saying. Oh, we found loads of Valentine's Day cards that, and we've restored them or whatever, and they put them in the actual the the artwork. So I really like that. Um, cool. So um, there's a, a lot here, but we want to go to about Welcome Home because we want to learn more about Welcome Home. This is interesting. I, like I haven't explored this very much, so we're gonna read through it together and kind of react to it. But this is interesting to me that this is kind of like a darker color to the usual actually let's let's go home oh wait no no i oh this is yeah this is the first time you load up the website or whatever um no i wanna 
Hello. <laughs> I want to open this in a new tab. And I want to show you. Yes, go in. There we go. Yeah, see this? This is all bright and colourful. It's got the reds, the yellows, the uh, the oranges and the greens. And blues. <laughs> and it is, uh, it's, you know, it's darkened here. And it's not actually, well, I think it is the same artwork, actually. Yeah, it's it's the same. It's just a little bit. Um, it's just dark. It's it's really dark. So this is kind of the dark side of, of the Welcome Home ARG, I guess. So uh, more of this to come, I would say. Um, we're, we've, we're seeing the light. We're going to see the dark. Hello, my name is Clown. Let me tell you about my project, Welcome Home. Welcome Home is a horror project that focuses on unraveling the mystery surrounding a beloved 1970s children's TV show. Honestly, I should have started with this, but I didn't really know this existed. So apologies for that. But, you know, if, if you're not up to date on what this is, then this might be a good place to start. I don't know, probably not. You should probably watch the other two videos first. You are to accompany a colourful cavalcade of puppets as their beloved neighbourhood begins to skew and distort into a nightmarish memory that they can barely recall. Wow. So that's very, that's very contrasting to what we currently have. Uh, we know that there is something underneath home, um, and that is like a black void or something. And when you click on it, it says so below. Uh, and I actually want to explore that more today because I've had comments saying uh, there's a saying called uh, as above, so below, something like that. So that's something that we could go into in a minute. Um, through illustrated books, recordings and an array of old merchandise you will find what dwells within this colorful home beneath its beautiful carpets behind its gorgeous wallpaper and deep within its breathing crevices oh what a what a line fortunately you have someone to keep you company and hold your hand as you walk down a path now long forgotten cool um oh wow this this okay i'm ready to get back into this art because we we've seen a little bit before but um, yeah, a house is a place with four walls and a floor. Wait. Okay, that, I don't think there's anything behind it. I think it's just the same text. A house is a place with four walls and a floor, most of the time, with a ceiling above and a lovely front door. There's a bed to cradle you safely at night and windows to bring in the morning sunlight. Your house is a mirror of just who you are, a reflection that tells you to never stray far. That's interesting. Um, on one of the, on one of the website code, websites, uh, you, you know, we put together the letter code last time, and um, on one of them, it said that we strayed too far away from home, um, and then, you know, hmm, that that's interesting. And then we clicked on the phone, and it took us to the uh, audio recording. Interesting. Oh, and people told me like the lyrics to the audio recording as well, which we could go through I probably not I don't think we'll have time but um that's interesting that's that's an interesting poem to connect to this your your house is a mirror of just who you are which means the house is possessing Wally possibly the house is possessing everything or the the underneath of the house is possessing the house and then possessing Wally and it's going to spread to all the neighbours, and then we're going to see different kind of realms. We'll talk about that in a minute, because I can see another picture here that's very intriguing. Um, warnings, Welcome Home is a story centred around a gaggle of friendly faces whose sunny days transform into something unexplainable. Yes, okay, so I think we might be going through each neighbour or something, uh, and seeing their twisted fates. Uh, with that said, it is important to state that this is a psychological horror, good to know, that touches upon a few topics that may require a warning beforehand, especially during its development. Common attributes in Welcome Home that may not be suitable for all audiences are listed below. Eyes, eye contact or staring, unreality or derealization, gore, puppets or mannequins, exploration of hairy topics like death, isolation and mental health. Mental health, interesting. Auditory unease, oh no. That's my worst nightmare, such as unpleasant sounds. Maybe I'll put this warning in the descriptions of these videos as well, just in case. Uh, I, I mean, I know most of my fans, are, are, most of my viewers are fans of Five Nights at Freddy's anyway. So, you know, we have a lot of a lot of these common themes. But either way, it's probably good to know because it does appear as like a children's uh, puppet show. You know, I, I like that's the point. It's a 70s children's puppet show and it will look like that from the surface. 
but when you dive deeper, which we will be doing in these videos, you are going to see some more of these themes, eyes, unreality, uh, gore puppets, you know, mental health, isolation, and unpleasant sounds. Um, I'd like to say the support and positivity I've received since I started making Welcome Home in 2018. Whoa, that was five years ago. That was five years ago. No way he's been working on this for five years. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you can tell how much work he's put into this. This is amazing. Um, I am so appreciative of everyone that has ever created something for me, listened to talk to me talk about it, or even pursued or p perused my online gallery of artwork and words to try to understand what I'm creating. It makes me excited to continue working on it and share what I can do with you. You are very talented, my friend, if you are watching. Uh, and I'd love to see where you take this as well. Um, Welcome Home is a way to explore what I can do as an artist and try out new things, especially with limited materials. However, with that said, this project is still being worked on. This website is meant to showcase my story, the characters, and share what I can do with you during my project's creation. I hope one day to see it uh, to its completion and know the medium of its final product. Still, I want to keep creating and I will continue putting out large pieces to show you what's hidden in this big, beautiful home. If you would like to support what I'm doing, please consider donating to my Ko-Fi. I actually might do that uh, in a little bit or after the video uh, because I, I I do want to input something. Like, I feel like I, I, sh I should be giving um, to this amazing cause. Uh, or not cause, but amazing website and, and project that he's working on. Thank you for giving me the strength to see this project through to its completion for any inquiries moving forward. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> wah ha 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 um, no hidden text here, right? I mean, again, this this is like pretty much deemed not canon. Um, but, you know, just if there was hidden text and I missed it, I would have felt like a fool. Okay, so we're going to zoom out a little bit. Wait, what happens if you like zoom out a lot? Is there anything? <laughs> that would be a cool secret. That would be really cool. Okay, so let's look at these images because I think they're very interesting. Um... And I wonder if they have fi like file names that I I should look up. Anyway, let's let's see. So, um, look, Wally. Oh, look, Wally exclaimed, "I made a dog." So, so Wally made Barnaby. Again, this the like. The canonist here, this is a little bit weird, but that's a bit creepy. That is a bit creepy. <laughs> uh, this is a great image, I think. This is a great drawing. Um, I don't really, I can't tell what's going on. Is that his face? What is going on there? Oh no, it's, his head isn't on. I see, okay. So his head isn't on uh, and, and he's creating him. That, that Wally is quite goofy and scary at the same time. I love it. Um, ah, <laughs> just so many A's. Okay. And do, do the file names have secrets or indication? Oh, we can't even save it. Well, we can inspect element. Oh no, wait, we can't. <laughs> can we? Can we like, I want to. Okay. 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 No, I, I don't think we can. I don't. I don't know. Let me know if we can and I missed something there. But um, next image. That is creepy. I just realized uh, I wasn't on full brightness. So <laughs> there you go. Um, wait a second. Never mind. <laughs> um, this is creepy. Um, we've seen that red rectangle before. And this is like a really weird thing to call out because I didn't think it had any meaning. But that red rectangle we've seen before, when we when we read through the the script of um, Wally with the butterfly, uh, I forgot exactly what was happening, but I remember there was a butterfly because I called it out as like, oh my god, it's it's the butterfly. Um, I we we saw this animation where it was flipping between characters. Was it their eyes? I don't know if it was their eyes. I think it was flipping through like character animations, and then it just went completely red, and I was like. Oh, that's, that's a bit of a weird gif, you know? It's just gone completely red. Um, so, what 
is the meaning of this? <laughs> what is the meaning of it? Is this the set, like, the core of evil or something? A portal to hell? Who knows? <laughs> um... Wow, I'm still learning the the character the names of the characters, by the way. So apologies for that, but we have uh, we have my guy here. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to the neighbor thing because I feel like I should remember. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, by the way. I thought this number represented something. No, it's just how many visits this page has. And honestly, like you gotta have respect for me, right? Because like I thought it was a code. It was seven numbers long. <laughs> I didn't think this page had over a million views. And uh, last time, I, I think actually on my first video, it had half this number. I mean, I could I could put it on the screen. Uh, I think it genuinely had like 171,000 or something, or no, 1,700,000, um, something like that. But uh, it's insane how quickly, like this has gained a lot of popularity, especially in the like the past few days, uh, past few weeks, it's crazy. So, in the neighborhood, um, that was weird. Uh, what's his name? It's Frank. Frank. Frank is my favorite character. Okay, Frank is my favorite. <laughs> Love him. Um, this one is creepy. Okay, so who is this character? Um, is it Wendy? It's it's something like Wendy or or something, right? This is being very slow. Oh, Julie. No, it's Julie. It's definitely Julie. Yeah. Julie, okay, so we have Julie here, and Julie is, to me, actually a really interesting character. Um, cause she's bright, uh, like the others, um, she's just like a regular girl, uh, and she's very associated with flowers, uh, from the top down, like, I think on her profile it says, from the top down she looks like a flower, like a blooming flower or something. The strange thing is, this image exists, and I can't help but think... Oh my gosh, um, we have never seen this before, um, whatever that is. Um, it's clear that this is kind of like a window into the light from the darkness, right? And the darkness is kind of taking over. Um, I'm getting some kind of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness vibes with, with the ink, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this image... It's fascinating, and I, I, I love it. I think it's absolutely, it's amazing. I think I might set it as my phone background, as, as my lock screen. This is really cool. Who is this? I feel like it's like Julie's dark side, or the puppeteer. Could be the puppeteer. Holding a hammer. Why? <laughs> Why? That's my question. Hmm. So I, I I really do like this a lot. Like this is this is really well done. I love the art of this because it is darkness versus light and and bright and colorful, um, kind of paper versus like another texture here. It kind of looks like fire in the actually no not really, um, but yeah I love this. What does it mean though? Uh, again, we have to consider the canonicity of this but it might appear in the future and I'm really excited if it does because this is creepy. This is one of the creepiest things I've seen so far, I think. Okay, it's for you from the Welcome Home Collection. So we have a picture of a phone and I'm instantly thinking ET phone home. <laughs> um, this is very intriguing for multiple reasons. Uh, I will talk about it in a second, but talky telephone. Call your favourite neighbours anytime. A delightful message just for you. They can't hear you though. Speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Speak up, speak up, I can't hear you. Three... Oh, there's loads of numbers here. I wonder if that means anything. Probably not. There's a dollar sign in front of it. I would not want to pay for this phone. If it's that much. There's also three nines here. Um, hmm. I've noticed two things in this image. First of all, there's a face in the middle. There's a face. Is it a... is it a reflection? Is it a reflection from like behind the camera, like looking down on the telephone? Or is it trapped inside the telephone? I think it probably is a reflection because it's kind of... it looks curved. Um, and it looks like... yeah, I, I don't... I don't really know. Um, that's interesting right there. Why would a telephone be important? 
Um, and the other thing I'm realizing as well is one, two, three, four, five are colorful. Six, seven, eight are, are kind of black tape, possibly, uh, or black ink or something. Nine and zero are, is that, are they crossed out? Why would they be crossed out? Nine and zero are kind of empty and, and, and black. Now, uh, all I'm saying is, uh, there's nine neighbors. There's nine neighbors. And three or four or five or three. I, I'm guessing three of them are cursed or something like that. And if we go back to the previous image, maybe this is what it means. Like they are letting out their dark side or something. I don't know. Like, obviously, we're, we're very early in the story. We, we're not supposed to know. I'm just kind of hypothesizing things here. But uh, I think it's really interesting that three of these are black and five of them are not. Uh, and if, it, it, if, they, if these are supposed to represent the neighbors, we have eight neighbors, uh, but not home, I'm assuming. I'm assuming home, maybe home is sentient because of the darkness. Oh no, maybe not, because I think in the TV show it was actually sentient. Okay, well that gives me something to think about. This is a really cool image as well. It, 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 it's a little bit eerie. It, you know, kind of like lost media in general just gives you like eerie vibes. Like it looks really nostalgic and really familiar to you, but you can't quite place where you've seen it. I feel like I've seen this before somewhere. It feels like I've seen this in a TV, in a children's TV show or something, but it's giving me some eerie vibes because there's clearly something deeper behind it, including the face, including the black spots on the colorful things. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, this is really creepy. This is great. Okay, let's move on to our next one. This is, oh, I love this. This is really good art. Uh, I think the next one is just a black and white version. I'm a bit confused on why there are black and white versions of the colorful images. I'll be honest. I, I don't really know why that's a thing. Um, yeah, but this is, this is good. Uh, it kind of shows that Wally is in the spotlight. It shows that Wally is higher up than everyone, more superior. Uh, and he has probably um, a higher consciousness or like uh, more power. I'm, I'm, I'm more sentience, I think, is probably, is probably it. He has more sentience. He is above everyone else in that aspect um, because he can communicate to us via the website. Um, and so the, the question then is, why does he have more sentience? How does he have more sentience? And yeah, that's, that's cool. Hmm. Okay. I like that image a lot, actually. Um, that's, that's also a potential phone background, actually. Thinking about it. I might have to, I might have to cop that one. <gasps> oh, I'm going to go back to that. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, these are so creepy. Okay, let's start with this one. Um, so, it says, that's the most. I don't know what that's referring to. Is that just like a, a quote that he says in the thingy or something? I don't know. I'm noticing a, a kind of a dawn sky, or not dawn, um, like dusk. A, a really weird sunset kind of sky. Um, and in the sky are eyes. Eyes always watching from the darkness. And we have had a lot of eye imagery in, in, in Welcome Home so far, surprisingly. Uh, if you go to the main page, an eye is literally right there staring at you. Uh, the house, the house eyes are right there. Wally's eyes are staring right at you. I actually want to talk more about the eyes in a second. Um, but we also have shadows of the characters, I would assume. Like, I don't know what else there would be. But the main thing, this thing, whichever way you want to do it, it's a demonic ritual. I know that for sure. Um, I actually, let me look this up because I think it might have something to do with the, um, as above, so below. Um, let me look it up. Okay, so it's called Baphomet. Okay. Don't know, I, I've never heard of that actually. I've never heard of Baphomet, but... Baphomet is this. 
Um, I actually let me look in, more into this. Actually, this is like the devil, assuming I, I, I'm assuming, and and it does the it does this pose. Like if we go back, that that is the exact same pose. He's sitting cross-legged. Oh no, he isn't. Never mind. Um, you know, he's sitting down, doing that pose with his arms. It, it's a hundred percent the same. He is the devil, essentially. There, there is a devil inside of him. I would probably, I would probably say, rather than he is the devil, I actually think Wally is mostly innocent. I think it's the darkness that is taking over somehow. Um, but Baphomet is a deity allegedly worshipped by the Knights Templar that subsequently became incorporated into various occult and Western esoteric traditions. It's so difficult to read from Wikipedia because they use like long words and stuff that I don't know. I don't know what it all means. Um, the name Baphomet appeared in trial transcripts for the Inquisition of the Knights Templar starting in 1307. Huh. Might have to look more into this. Um, I think also if we're talking about as above, so below, you know, you have one arm above, as above, you have another one toward hell, the below, you know? Um, and I think as above, so below is kind of, um, we might need to look this up again, but it's it's kind of like the the balance between good and bad in some ways. It's kind of like a yin and yang in a way. I, I don't, I'm not too sure. I'm going to look it up. Okay, so... Actually, you can't see this. Um, as above, so below. Uh, wait. As above, so below. As below, so above. The Kibla... The Kybalion. This principle embodies the truth that there is always a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of the various planes of being and life. Oh my god, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, this is... This is hurting my brain. Um mean that whatever a person does on earth will be reflected in the spiritual plane. Oh, so it's kind of like, okay, okay, so it's kind of like karma in a way, but sort of like, it, it's sort of like if you do good things, you'll go to heaven. If you do bad things, you'll go to hell. It's sort of that, right? Um, I think, possibly. Whatever happens in Earth is reflected in the astral plane. Yeah, so kind of like the universe has a memory of what you've done and if you've been a good person and if you have, then heaven for you. If you haven't, hell. Uh, I hope that I'm not offending people by doing this. <laughs> I, I literally just realized maybe it's not right to do that. I don't think it's like a cult thing or anything, so I don't think I'll have to worry. But um, yeah, hopefully that didn't, yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff with um, kind of religion and spiritual meanings in this. Um, is it going to go into like a cult sort of thing? That's interesting, uh, like an eye cult or something. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at the eyes and saying eye cult. Uh, this is, oh my god, that's actually really creepy. There's like four eyes in one place. Ugh. Oh, I'm just imagining like the darkness being one big eye monster with with tons of eyes. That is horrifying. Okay, so this one is the creepiest. Oh my gosh, I love this. I absolutely love the implications of this. Um, first of all, I'm seeing like some static in the background with some very colorful colors. Um, I like it. This is only a test. Welcome. Home EBS ST. This is a test for something, 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 because it's in yellow text on a yellow background. This station will conduct a test. Oh, so like a, is, this is like on TV. This is like a TV broadcast somehow. So uh, this is a friendly reminder, or not, maybe not a friendly reminder, that uh, Wally is a puppet. He is being puppeteered by a human being, a real being. Uh, a dark being from our world, aka this hand. And I really like that this hand is monotone or, you know, um, just just in black and white, as, as opposed to the background and Wally, which are really bright and colourful, as always. Um, and so it, it does give you that contrast and duality. And I like that because it means that Wally is being taken over literally by this hand, by this puppeteer. 
And I have a feeling that this is kind of the, like the core theme in the story. There are these like dark puppeteers um, controlling every move with these puppets and taking over this neighborhood uh, and, and stuff like that. I don't know what that has to do with like lost media and stuff, but oh, that's interesting to me. Um, I'm looking in his eyes, which are very creepy here. It looks like he has like flesh, right? This this doesn't look like a puppet, so that probably plays into it as well. Maybe maybe Wally is real. Maybe Wally does have actual sentience, um, even behind the hand. Um, so that's I like that. Cool. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, he's in the village. You're outside. His cufflink. <gasps> His cufflink is a cross, a Christianity symbol. Strange, very strange. Okay, there's not much to this one. Uh, it's it's very creepy. It feels like just Monica, just just Wally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that shouldn't be as creepy as it is. But the thing is, like, I know the implications of this, so. Let's let's do this thing again. So let's go to the neighborhood and remind ourselves of how we found this void. So we inspect element on the home. We delete the home. Like we literally delete the home. Um, and then, yeah, there we go. We have a black hole right here. And this is where we find as above, so below. So this is a spiral. Okay, we, we have a lot of spiral imagery as well. Do we have the spiral on the on the original rock? Okay, we don't, but we do have the eye. Um, there is a lot of spiral imagery, imagery. There is one in the guest book, and I think it actually said... It said, like, why are you looking at me, or something like that, and then it was a spiral. There's one there where Judy just says hello, but I think there's another one somewhere else uh, that's more interesting. Um, why do you like eye contact? That's it. And then it's, and then it's this. And then what does he say here? Uh, he says, so you will know I am looking at you. I am talking to you. Okay. So there's a lot of, uh, spiral imagery as well as the eye imagery. And I think they have to be connected in some way. And this is almost looking into the void and seeing an eye look back at you. Um, right. So, so this is the origin of, of it all, and this is where the creepiness comes in. I like this photo. <laughs> I like it. Uh, oh, this is cute. That is creepy. <laughs> we have book pages and alive pages. So are they going to be alive? That's interesting, actually, because this one looks like it has more expression than this one. Right? This one just looks really dead inside. This one looks alive with personality, uh, and this one just looks really freaking dead honestly um it's giving me tim burton vibes in a way um i guess the legs and arms would be skinnier in tim burton style but uh it's it's creepy just looking uh directly at us uh dress and stocking colors i i love the colors used in this uh expressive exaggerated motions emphasis on the sketches and line work test font test font test font there's so many test fonts okay uh, oh, and there's one for each. Okay, so, so there you go. Huh. Uh, and then we're back at the start. Okay. Creepy, creepy, creepy stuff. I really like it. So, what else can I talk about today? Um, there were a few secrets that people told me to check out. So, the first one is if you go to the neighborhood... And then there's a clickable thing and people told me that you can press tab and it will show you everything you can click on. So let's see if there's something we can click on. There's, there's, um, there's the void. Let's see if there's something you can click on, uh, that doesn't show up normally. That's definitely something you can click on that doesn't show up normally. We're going to click on you. Um, you. Wally it is your best friend. 
Wally is your best friend. What does that mean? And is that it? That's so weird. That's that's such a what? <laughs> that's such like an irrelevant secret. Why is this even here? You, Wally is your best friend. I guess this is like more personal to us. Strange, very strange secret indeed. That is definitely not one um, I would ever ever found without the tab thing. <laughs> um, strange, yeah. I, I I thought there would be more something more to that, but I don't think there is. Um, I'm probably missing something there again. Um, so another thing I want to say is something that I noticed, um, and it's going back to the eyes. Um, not only am I now realizing there's tons of eyes here, like. In, in, in the background. Wow, there's a lot of eyes. Um, but I, I, I want to check something because I saw it when I was looking through the neighborhood for like the first and, and second times. Um, but I, I didn't point it out because it didn't click with me immediately. So if we go to Wally, I don't know why it's taking so long for us to load. Okay. So here's the thing. I have a theory, right? So Wally is looking directly at us. Like Wally is like, "Hello, I'm painting." Ha ha ha. He's looking at us, and he's saying goodbye. Or we're assuming that's Wally anyway. Uh, actually, before we go into the others, I I just wanna. There we go. Welcome home, Paige. He's looking directly at us, and one thing I'm noticing is the house is looking at him. Maybe the house is like nervous that he's he's gonna break, or something. Like I I feel like the house. I feel like I feel like home has like a tether to, or is the tether. I feel like home, I feel like, oh, maybe if he strays too far from home, then he's gonna break the simulation almost. Maybe that's what we're witnessing right now. He's broken the simulation and he's talking to us, trying to get help uh, through this website. And that's why he sent the envelopes. He sent the envelopes because he wants the lost media to be recovered uh, I don't know why he would want the lost media to be recovered, but I don't know. Maybe that's why he's more sad to Um So yeah, um, cool. So we we have Wally looking directly at us twice. Um, go back to the neighborhood. Let's check out Wendy. No, nope, it's not Wendy. It's Julie. I'm always gonna get that wrong. Julie is looking up at a paddle ball. Oh, wow, cool. That's great. Uh, Sally over here is uh, doing some theater. Or something like that. Uh, who's this? Uh, Poppy. Poppy is looking over at her cookies that she's made. Whatever. <laughs> um, and then we have Eddie over here. Uh, who's looking at his, his envelope right there. That he's going to send out to the, uh, the... Interesting. He has a colourful envelope. Maybe Eddie has a bigger part in this story. Howdy is over here, looking at his apple. Cool, fantastic. Still got 100% off sale. Barnaby is over here, juggling and looking at his balls. <laughs> that was worded badly. Uh, and Frank is over here, looking at his butterfly. The case is closed, I think. Wally is looking directly at us in every single shot. Or Okay, maybe not every shot, but... Wally is always looking at us. <laughs> it's it's actually quite creepy now that I, I bring that up. Wally is just always watching. Um, and that ties in with the eye imagery as well. Uh, because it also says that Wally is always watching. So Wally is watching us through this website. I think I think it's I think that's safe to say. Um I think that's a really cool detail, and I yeah, that, that's really, really cool. Whew. So, what else is there? I, I think there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about, but I, I haven't, and I've completely forgotten what it was. Uh, so, I, I have heard that there are secrets in these images as well, on just the What's Welcome Home page. Um, I'm not going to find all of them. I don't even know if I'm going to find any of them, to be fair. Uh, but... You know, this is this is in the video, so I I probably have found something. 
Um, so he's building a snowman. Love, lovely eat. That's a weird book. I love the bow tie. The bow tie is such a great um, thingy. What's weird here is that there's there's um, there's a coloured version and a and a black and white version. Um, that's weird. I that's probably nothing. Is it on here? It is. There's 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 more words. I can see it. I can see it very clearly, or not clear enough, but I think it's more clear in black and white probably. There's more words here. Now you come. Now, now you come. Now you count come be. I like. I don't know if you guys can see this at all. Like there, there's some really strange, like really thin white writing there, and I can't quite see it because um, of the background being white. But there is something there. I like. Hey, I, f I found the secret. I'm sure it's nothing massive, but um, cool. Uh, this is Eddie with his colourful envelope. So it, it seems like maybe maybe the puppets have come alive, like the actual IRL puppets have come alive, and that's why they were sent the envelopes, because they were Eddie's envelopes. Interesting. Um, why are you looking directly at us again? Like, have people been looking directly at us? None of them are, are looking at us. I mean, the snowman was. Uh, these guys technically are, but not really. Okay, anyway, what, yeah, Wally's looking directly at us. That's kind of creepy. Uh, this is a great, um, a great image, though. Really like it. Uh, it's on the house for you, Valentine. Oh, yeah, here's all the Valentine's cards and stuff. Is there something there? Oh, no, that's just copyright. <laughs> Uh, this thing that looked like a, a tarot card the first time I saw it. Halloween cast. There's something more to this. There he is. He's being taken over by the darkness. He's trying to find a window out. Trying to find a window out of the... Out of the darkness or something. I don't know. And the house is looking at him again. And he's looking at us again. <laughs> he's looking at us again. Um, well, not again. He's looking at us. He's sleeping in cake. I feel like I'm missing things, of course. But uh, this is this is really cool. This one's strange, right? The, I think these are like early concept arts for the house. But it's like it's, it looks like it's crying, right? It's got like black tears. <laughs> 